Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I'm Juliana and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about my December of 2022 wrap up. So you have to excuse me first of all because it's very cold today in here and I put a sweater, I have like a t-shirt sweater and then this camisole so I'm a bit puffier than usual but I you know it's really really cold and in the room that I'm filming there is no heat that's in the other room so because I film in a different living room so that's why I'm a bit puffier, so please ex excuse me. But so, for the wrap-ups, I usually talk about the books that I read through that said month. Uh, I talked about what I'm currently reading, and then I talk about movies and series that I watched throughout that month. And so, begin beginning with the books that I read, I read the New York Trilogy by Paul Oster. This is a Portuguese edition, but uh, I'm going, I leave always, I leave the titles in the description. So if you are in doubt because you don't recognize the cover of the book that I'm showing, and if you, if you are in doubt of the book that I'm talking about. I always leave the titles of the book that I talk about in the description, so please go check it out if you're in doubt. And I have links for Amazon Spain and Amazon UK for you to buy the books in the English edition. So if you're interested, it's a way for you to help me with a small commission. The price of your purchase does, doesn't change. You don't pay anything more f because of it. I just receive a small commission of your of your purchase, so it's a way for you to help me to, you know, buy more books so I can bring more content. So thank you. So I have um, I love this book and I already posted a video about it. That was my last video. So you, I will link it in the description so you can go watch it. In there I talk about the plot, about the characters, about my thoughts on the book. So you have everything there. So if you want to know a bit more in depth of what I thought and what this book is about, you can go watch that video that is going to be linked. So there you go. Oh, and uh, the New York Trilogy and the book that I'm going to talk about next, that is Salome by Oscar Wilde, are books for, for, uh, of my challenge, 12 books for 12 months of 2022. Yes, I'm still finishing that challenge. I wasn't able to... Uh, read them all through the month of December, that was my wish, but it didn't come true. Uh, and I'm still finishing it, uh, hopefully in January. So I will link the video for that challenge so you can understand what it is and the books that I chose for last year. And so this one uh, was in there. And uh, this is a play, um, this is a really short book and um, I didn't read many plays in my life so uh, I'm a bit uh, unused to reading that type of literature but I really enjoyed it and I'm planning, well I have to do a video about it so I'm not going to extend in here so much about it 
but I liked it. It was very unexpected and I have to say a bit confusing also because I had to reread the play so I can pick it up the nuances if it wasn't for the preface that the introduction that explains a bit about the context of this play uh, I wouldn't understand it so well so I'm thankful that in this edition um, I ha we have a preface where it is explained the history, some history of Oscar Wilde, his life history and also the history of the writing of this play, so May. It was in my reread that I marked it so much because it has a lot of references that I wanted to talk about in my video so that's why I marked it. Yeah, you have to wait to see the video that I uh, will do about this and yeah, that's it. So, hey guys, this is post filming situation. I realized that I was missing some books that I read through the month of December. I didn't talk about it. I'm so sorry, I don't have makeup on. This is the next day I was <laughs> viewing. I, d I had edited my video already and then a light came through my mind and I realized that I was missing some books. So one I read at the beginning of the month, so, so I didn't remember. And the other was around Christmas and I didn't remember as well. So what can I say? So to wrap up this part here. I read What I Talk About When I Talk About Running by Haruki Murakami. I made a video about it, so I will link the video in the description. And I'll link it in the cards also. I love this one. This is a memoirs book of Murakami. In here he talks about mainly his relationship with the sport, running, right? To run. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I mean, uh, and it's great. I talk about in more depth in that video, so if you're interested, I think you should watch that video. I talk about things that he mentions in here and stories that he tells, and it's really interesting. I really enjoyed it. It one is it become one of my favorite books that I have read. In my life so there you go and then the other one that I read was about Christmas time and it was letters from Father Christmas from J.R.R. Tolkien so this is a compilation of letters that Tolkien wrote to his children they were four three boys one girl and so he wrote them uh, as if he was Father Christmas, as we call today Santa Claus, and they were endearing. I also did a video about it, so I'm not going to extend too much in here. You have to go and watch that video so you can understand my meaning and the um, things that he talks about in his letters. But it's wonderful, it's so endearing, it's a great uh, holiday gift and also a holiday read. It's really cozy, really endearing and it's um, a statement of how fathers and parents in general can invest in their children and to prolongate the magic in their lives. So it's wonderful, so there you go. And yeah. Going back to the video. Bye bye. So now about the books that I'm currently reading. As you know, I'm still finishing it. Budenbrook by Thomas Mann. I'm liking it. Nothing more to say about it. I'm still reading it. 
and then I'm reading it The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald. Uh, I'm still in the beginning and for right now I can't say if I'm liking it or not because it's really in the beginning of the story so we have we are being introduced to the characters and to the situations so let's wait and see and so for movies and series through the month of, uh, the month of December I didn't watch any movie but I started to watch season three of C um, so that's a series I already talked about C in wrap-ups like this in previous wrap-ups so if you're interested um, please go to the playlist of the wrap-ups to see what I said in the, those videos I explained very much about the first season not so much about the second because that will be a spoiler and that will be the same of the third season what I can say is that the character of Jason Momoa uh, Baba Voss uh, left the family so he was like in a retreat or something uh, and then something when he was away happened uh, that was the last uh, situation or last yes last situations of the second season and in the third season we are still we we know where Baba Voss is there's um, birth that's happening between a couple that wasn't supposed to happen and I only saw two episodes so I can't say so much about it because I don't know um, but of what I saw the, the first two episodes you know it's a continuation of the story so I think it's in good progression and I love the actors that portray the characters uh, and I think the continuation of the story is really believable it makes sense you know that's what I mean uh, and I'm yeah for right now I'm really enjoying it hopefully I'll be talking about well I won't be talking about it so much because I don't I can't talk so much about it right because it's the third season so I will have to spoil some things that happen in the second season and even in the first so I can't say too much but maybe this month I will finish it finish it but yeah I think it's an entertaining series well as I've said before in previous videos some things that they are capable to do are a bit unrealistic but that's you know that's that's entertainment that's, that's a series it's not supposed you have to suspend your belief right so yeah I think it's really entertaining and this is the last season of the series so this will end the story and I'm really curious to see how they will close the arc and if, so, is, if some of the characters will die or not I'm, I'm suspecting that something major will happen so yeah I'm I'm really curious so if you don't know the plot of the story of C do as I say go back and go watch uh, the other wrap-ups in some of them I will talk about this series and I will talk about it more depth about the plot of 
the first season so you can understand the world of this series but yeah i'm really enjoying it so that's it this month was really short in reading and movies and series i didn't watch so much it was a really rushed month i had to do many things they took a lot of my time so and the holidays in the middle and such so yeah hopefully this month will go a bit better and i will have more books to show you and more movies and series to show you so let's see so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to press the ring bell button to all so you can receive all my notifications leave a like it helps a lot the divulgation of the video and the divulgation of the channel follow me on instagram i'll be posting there whenever i have a book review to do or anything else and yeah i see you on the next one bye